Yo, what is up, Nerd Turds? My AKJ or Fake Recon. How you guys doing? So hopefully you guys are all doing great because I know I am. Because I've been waiting to tell this story for such a long time. But the only reason I can never tell the story is because I never actually gone through the real life events to be able to say the story, or else I'd just be making up shit. But now that I've finally gone through this in real life, I could finally tell a story about it, and I'm just so damn happy to bring you guys a story. But before we get started, guys, as always. Be sure to check out all my social links down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat. All my social links down below in the description. Check them out. So, the commentary for today is first time taking a dab. Now, this isn't the video of first time smoking wax. I've already made a video like that. So, if you guys are kind of confused and saying, you know, fake, you already made this video. What are you talking about? It's not the same thing because I've smoked wax before in the past, but I've never taken an actual dab where you heat up the titanium nail or quartz nail. It doesn't matter, but where you heat up the nail. And then you have your dabber and you dab. I've never actually taken a dab like that, okay guys? I've only done it through different smoky methods. One of them is smoking it from a vape pen. The other one, rolling it up into a joint. And then the third one, just adding the wax to the top of my bowl and just smoking it with the butane lighter. Now, all those three methods aren't the actual way of smoking wax because you're not getting the purest hit that you possibly can. And the only way to get a pure hit is to take a dab. And dabs are known to be really really intense and really crazy and it's just honestly something you shouldn't do if you're still a rookie or you're still lightweight so to all my viewers out there who are fiend already interested and just like oh my god so damn curious to what a dab feels like don't go try to make plans this weekend with your friends saying let's take a dab guys even though you only have like less than six months smoking weed because dabs are something to be taken serious now i know that kind of sounds weird because when it comes to weed it's not really serious because, I mean, you do it and you get it over with, you know, it's you gone through this experience, so you already know what it's going to feel like and you already know what you're going to go through. But when it comes to dabs, it's something you should take serious because you don't know the experience, the outcome of this entire um, incident. So it could either be, you know, something great, the greatest high of your life, or it can just be the worst time of your life. So that's what I'm saying. Dabs aren't really meant for people who are lightweights. Just stick to weed if you're still lightweight, build up a tolerance and then go for dabs when you feel ready but that's just my recommendations I mean you can do whatever the fuck you want so if you decide to take a dab this weekend go ahead you know it's not my decision it's yours but if something goes wrong don't come back to my videos or back to this video saying you know it's all your fucking fault I fucking passed the fuck out when I took a dab you know it's not my fault it's all on you but a couple days ago I was at my girlfriend's house after receiving this package from the mail from thickassglass.com after receiving my adapter, my titanium nail, my titanium dabber, I ended up finding out that I actually ended up getting the wrong size adapter for my bong, and I really have an 18 millimeter female instead of the 14 millimeter female that I thought I had. So this whole entire time, I basically thought that I had a 14 millimeter when I actually had an 18. So I ended up ordering the right size, but after finding out that I got the wrong size adapter, I was just like, "Oh man, this fucking sucks." So a couple minutes later, you know, my girlfriend's brother comes in the room and I was just like, yo, man, look what I got. And I started showing him all the things that I received in the mail. And I was just like, but the unfortunate thing is that I got the wrong size adapter, dude. And I was planning to take a dab today, but unfortunately I can't because I got the wrong size adapter. So he was just like, oh, shit, that kind of sucks. So he was just like, you want me to tell one of my friends if you could take a dab? And I was just like, yeah, dude, just tell him. And I forgot to mention this, but I already had wax purchased. I had purchased the wax like three days before the... The package came in the mail so I basically had everything ready so he calls up his friend and he ended up asking him if I could take a dab and his friend was okay with it he was just like yeah man just stop by the house so then the brother was just like do you have the car and I was just like damn it dude I don't have the car fuck man that sucks so he was just like all right well you could take the dab but as long as you can get a ride then we can go over there so I was just like fuck man that kind of sucks because I don't have the car and I can't get the car right now it's kind of a bad time so this is when my girlfriend comes in and she was just like, oh, you know what? I still need to get my eyebrows done. So if we can go get my eyebrows done and I can ask my dad for the car, maybe he'll let us take it out and then we can go take a dab. So she ended up doing that. She ended up calling her dad saying if we can take out the car to go get her eyebrows done. And the dad was just like, yeah, sure you can. So we ended up first thing first going to the guy's house, not even going to my girlfriend's eyebrows first. We ended up going to the dude's house first. And then once we got there, we basically went inside and he was just like, yep. Look at him right there. That's the master dabber right there. So that's what my girlfriend's brother told me. And I was just like, oh, all right, I'm ready for this. So I ended up asking him. I was just like, yo, can I take a dab? And he was just like, yep. So he ended up getting the bong. And to my surprise, it wasn't the biggest bong. 
it was like a six inch to eight inch approximately uh, obviously this isn't an accurate size but that's what the size kind of looked like a six to eight inch but you know he pulls out the the court now and then he pulls out the butane tank um or the torch not even sure what it's called but yeah, he pulls it out and he starts getting this dab ready for me so you know i pull out my dabber and he he gets this so he starts putting the dab or starts packing the dab or loading the dab i'm not even sure how to use or the correct term but yeah he starts loading that for me and i forgot to mention this but my dabber is actually double sided so he ended up packing two dabs or loading two dabs onto the dabber so for my very first dab guys i actually ninja dabbed it so if you guys don't know what ninja dab is it's basically when you take a dab and then your friend adds another dab and you take like it's pretty much taking two dabs in one hit so i ended up doing that but instead of him adding it i actually ninja dabbed myself because as i said we loaded two dabs on both ends of the dabber so after i took this one dab i flipped it over and just took another dab so it was a pretty intense dab for my very first dab and dabs are really crazy guys like after i blew out this smoke the first feeling i felt was like this instant feeling of just warmth like i felt super damn hot and it felt like the room temperature went from 70 degrees to like fucking 100 it just felt really really hot and i was just like oh my god why is it so hot in here and after I said that, everybody just started laughing at me. And that's because I guess this is what you go through when you take a dab. You get hot or your body gets really warm. So after I said that, he was just like, he, they just all started laughing. He was just like, yeah, man, that's the dabber's life. That's a sweat life right there. Don't worry about it. You know, you'll get used to it. It happens. And I was just like, man, it feels super hot though. And they were just all laughing at me. But after I got over with that feeling, I felt this like instant fast ass feeling of just being ridiculously high i was just like oh my god it just came over me like instantly and i was just like damn dude i am fucking high and i remember just like holding myself onto this corner from both edges of the counter table and i was just holding myself up and i felt like i had noodle knees or noodle legs i just felt really really tired and really weak from my legs and i was just like oh my god dude i can barely even walk i'm super high and after that, my girlfriend's brother was just like, do you want to take another dab? And then I was like, fuck no, dude, I'm fucking high already. So, you know, they all started laughing at me. And then this other guy starts packing another dab and he starts asking my girlfriend, you know, do you want to take a dab? And she keeps refusing because the way she saw me take a dab and, you know, saw me go through these effects after the dab, she was just like, mm-mm, fuck that, I ain't gonna do that shit. So my girlfriend was actually paranoid to take a dab. She didn't want to go through the same thing that I went through because she saw the way I was coughing and the way I was reacting to this thing, so she was like, nah, fuck that, I'm not gonna go through that. It looks scary already, so I'm not gonna go through it, I'm not gonna try it. After that, I was just like, you know what, I'll just take that dab. So I ended up taking the her dab, or the dab she was originally gonna take, but she ended up pussing out on. So I ended up taking her dab, and then after we took the dabs, guys, I remember just getting back my dabber, and then losing it. Like, that was the first thing I did. I lost that dabber within a day of having it, which was pretty embarrassing, and... After that, I just never found the dabber, but yeah, after we took these dabs, we ended up going to the eyebrow place that we originally were going to go to. So once we got there, guys, I was, you know, completely off. Like, I couldn't hang or I would just wasn't me. I just basically wasn't me, and I was like a completely different person, and it felt like new to me. This all felt new to me. It was like me smoking weed for the very first time again. That's how it kind of felt like. And I ended up doing one really stupid ass thing. Um, after my phone had died and I was in the eyebrow place, I ended up charging my phone on the wall. And then I remember my girlfriend's brother texting me saying, look out through the window. So I look out through the window and I just see him just in the car just smiling at me because I was super high. So he was just laughing at me. And I ended up just leaving my phone in the store, like not even knowing. Like I forgot, I completely fucking forgot. But I ended up leaving my phone there. Went in the car and I was just like, yo, what's up, man? And I was just like, do you think you can give me a ride to Subway? Because Subway wasn't that far. It was in the same parking lot. It was just, you know, kind of distant from the eyebrow place. So it was just like, sure, I'll take you a ride. So he ended up giving me a ride. And then once I was in line, guys, a couple minutes later, I was just like, oh, my God, where the fuck is my phone? So I started looking for my phone. And I was just like, oh, my God. And I completely just Usain bolt my ass back across from the parking lot onto the other side. And I ended up getting my phone. And luckily, guys, my phone was actually still in the store. Which was a surprise to me because I honestly thought, you know, with a bunch of thieves in my city that it was going to get stolen. But it actually didn't get stolen. I got really lucky that day. But yeah, after that, uh, my girlfriend was done by the time I got there. So we ended up going to Subway after that and just eating Subway. And you guys, food to me tasted 10 times better than than food when I'm high but off of weed. So food off of, off of dabs just tastes like 10 times more better. I remember after this... 
I ended up going to CVS, getting like three packets of Skittles, getting three chocolate bars, getting two Arizonas, and a bag of sour worms. So I was just completely baked out of my mind, and everything to me just tasted so damn tasty. I just wanted more and more of everything, honestly. But yeah, dads were definitely an experience, and dads were pretty crazy. Like, every single time my friends would talk about dads, they would always make them seem so unreal, and like, it kind of felt like they would just over-exaggerate on most of the detail that they would give me. But in all honesty, guys, dabs are actually the way they described them. When they say that one dab can get you fucked up, like it's the equivalent of smoking a whole blunt. That's how it kind of honestly felt to me. Like one dab was just like, holy shit, this is like the equivalent of me just smoking an entire blunt. Or like taking three bong bowls, um, or three bowls out of my bong, my bad. But yeah, it was a really intense side and something that I have definitely want to keep doing. But I just don't want to kind of overdo it because I know if I overdo it, then I'm going to get such a big tolerance that dabs won't even get me as high or weed won't get me as high and dabs are going to be the main thing that gets me high and dabs are pretty expensive guys it cost me 35 bucks for a gram and i forgot to mention what type of wax i actually smoked i ended up smoking shadow wax so the purest of the pure for some of you guys who don't know for some of you guys who are still new to wax pretty much there's like three tiers it's oil which is like the lowest tier and then there's crumble which is like the second tier and then there's shatter which is the best which is the more extracted concentrate so that's why shatter is just the best because it goes through like th two extractions not just one so that's why it's a lot more pure of a hit but yeah so hopefully you guys did enjoy this commentary if you guys did be sure to drop that like and favorite button also comment down below the very first time you guys took a dab also if you guys are new to my channel and have subscribed yet be sure to hit the subscribe button for future content until next time guys thanks for watching this is mike ag and i'm out deuces